Okay, um, here is a demo for how to use the KVC script. Um, and before I open it up, I just want to talk a little bit about why I actually wrote it. Um, so I've created a comp here, and I have two layers. Uh, it's just the same layer duplicated over. Um, and I have some keyframes set up. So uh, I was doing a lot of animation at the time, and I found that when I would want to get a smooth curve, um, and I just added ease to ease and took it in the graph editor, this handle is pretty good for seeing visually what you're doing, but it's really hard to get an accurate number or a very precise number, and the same when you're trying to get the velocity. Um, so the answer to that, um, Adobe has a window, the keyframe velocity window, if you hit Command-Shift-K or Control-Shift-K, uh, you can open the exact same thing except you have the values here and um, you can enter exactly what you want. Let's just put some numbers in here. You know, it's great. And then let's just see this exact keyframe. Uh, it works fine. But the problem with this arises um, if you want to grab lots and lots and lots of keyframes. And let's just enter some values in. G. 50, 15, and 15. Um, so you can see some of them change while others don't. And still, even still, some of these might not exactly change all the way. And the problem is, after I did some investigating, that these keyframes are different kinds of keyframes. They have different types. Some are 2D, some are 3D. You can see some have multiple dimensions, like scale, you have X and Y, and opacity is just one value. So this is the reason that I wrote the script, and that's pretty much an explanation of what it does. Um, so if you open the script, if you put it in your script UI folder, it should be down here, KVC. And Basically, it has the exact same look as this keyframe velocity window. Let's see if I can open them up at the same time. No, oh, I can't. Um, but it's the exact same thing. You have incoming velocity, outgoing velocity, and a continuous checkbox. But what I also did is um, I allowed you to save these values as a preset so that you could have it every time you open up your... Uh, your After Effects. So if I take these values, I come back up to KVC, and I just, I'll just leave these values in and change it. You can see that this time they all worked, and you can look and see that all the values are what you want. Um, also what I did um, is I allow you to export um, these presets and just create, you can have multiple files for different presets for different uh, projects you're working on. But basically how it works is if you want to add a preset, um, actually the very first thing, let's just reopen this window. When I open up, you're going to see that you don't have any presets because you don't have a file saved yet. Um, what it does is as soon as you open up your the script, it's going to look for a file if you have one saved or not. And you don't have one saved because it's the first time you're opening uh, the script. So what you want to do is you can just go ahead and, and save whatever presets you want. Create them. They go into this drop-down list. Um, just add another one. Just kidding, whatever. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to export these presets. And it saves it to a very easy to read JSON file. So let's just call it example.json. And um, then what you want to do is set your presets file to that file. Okay, so now that you have it set, if I were to close down the script and reopen it, 
you would see that you have your presets in here. Um, and I wrote a little side script to tell me exactly what file it's looking for. So you can see that it's now looking for example.json. But let's say I add another one. Let's just call it ts. And now I export a different file. Hello. Well, I have that already saved in here, but I'll just replace it. And now I set the preset to be hello.json. If I run this little side script I wrote to see what file it's calling, you can see it changed to hello.json. And if I close this out and open it back up, oh, not that. Wrong script. You'll see that I have my three values. Um, also, I have in my preferences under general, I have uh, allow scripts to write files and access network checked. But if I uncheck this, close the script down, open it back up, it's going to say this script requires access to write files. You're going to click OK, and it's going to take you to the preferences where you can click allow scripts to write files and click OK and then the script should load and, and work. <clears throat> um, so you can also delete presets, select the one you want, delete it, and every time you're adding and deleting a preset and you have a file already um, set as your presets file, it will write it, it will write that new preset to the file and delete the preset from the file. Um, you also have a lock continuous button so what that did is it makes these the in speed and the out speed the exact same. Um, so if you change one, you're changing the other. If I uncheck it, you can just change them individually. Um, that's pretty much how it works. Um, all right, thank you.